Today we're unboxing Nemesis from Awakened Realms. I'm Mark Maya. Welcome to Board Game Coffee. Let's jump into it, shall we? Let me get that box. Oh. Ah. That's a big one. This has got to be one of my most anticipated Kickstarters of 2019. Or would it be 2018? I Kickstarted in 2018, but I knew it was coming in 2019, so... Whatever. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to this one. I'm really excited about this unboxing. Now, there is, it's a two wave shipment deal. So this is wave one. And from what the box tells me, it's, hold on. This box contains one copy of Nemesis. So I'm assuming, I don't remember actually what comes in wave one versus wave two, but one of them has little model cats You'll understand when you see them. I think that's wave two. Because there was a lot. I'm so excited. This, this game's going to be so good. This looks like the best alien board game that is not... Well, I guess that doesn't have the alien franchise attached to it. It it's, looks so good. Did you, do you guys know anything about it? It looked just amazing. So I don't even know how to get into this thing. Oh, there's got to be a lid. Oh, I can't. I'm on the wrong side of the lid. Hold on. Let's see tape. One thing I like about this box is I knew exactly what I was getting once it arrived. I like when the name of the game is on the box. Now, from what I know about Nemesis, it's you're a bunch of people in space trying to do missions. Now, I think it's competitive because from the video, you could screw each other over, and there's aliens trying to kill you, and you could basically lock people in rooms with aliens, and it just seems so thematically just tasty. Are you alien fans? Because I am. It's so good. Okay, let's see what we got in here. The cats! Yes! The cats came with it. Kickstarter bonus content. I'm so happy that's how it started. Come here. All right, we're just gonna start with the cats. I'm a dog person, but I'm really excited about these cats. So let's see what we got here. I think this might just be an art book of these cats. Tainted. Oh, look at this. Tainted Grail, coming soon. We did a video for that too. Check that out. It's too late for that Kickstarter. I think that was the, uh, that was the most successful Kickstarter of 2018. Not just board games, but everything. Congratulations, Awaken Realms. Well done. And I'm happy that we got to take a part of that and do an overview video for it. Yeah, let's see what's in here. I'm so excited about the cats. Oh crap, okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. He's eating Doritos and he's wearing his spacesuit. I don't even know if you can make it out. It's so dark. Okay, what's in here? What is this? A little, it's an envelope. There's something rolling around in there. It's a Tainted Grail token. We got some of these when we got the prototype to do the video. Eh? That's a Dear Backer letter. And it's telling us stuff. Yeah, it's okay. All right. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in that letter. Really excited about Tainted Grail too. The game is pretty awesome. It's coming. It's coming. Punch outs. Okay. Alright. I don't know why they're in this box. Separate missions, maybe? Cat related missions? Maybe you have to change the litter box in space. I don't know. Untold stories, number one. Now, from what I know or for, sorry, from my experience of Tainted Grail, some really talented writers working with Awakened Realms. Very impressed. Oh, it's a comic book. Sweet, it's like a uh, trade. So there's a few stories in here. 
Well, if the rating in this is as good as the rating in Tainted Grail, this is going to be a solid read. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, it's the art book of Tainted Grail. This is quite a little, uh... <coughs> I'm joking. With happiness and glee. It's quite a little bit, a uh, little care package they sent us here. Oh, neat. We actually have two of these. Maybe we'll give one of those away. Maybe. If we can figure out shipping. I don't know if you guys know anything about doing giveaways on YouTube channels, but shipping's the killer. Ooh. It says Etherfields? It's hard to read in this lighting. It's actually, I've seen the videos since we've changed the lighting in the studio, and it's actually easier to see from your point of view than it is from mine. Let's see what we got here. I have no idea what's in here. It's, I usually, I guess, cards, but if there's cards in here, which they seem to card size, they are wrapped. It's tight. Yeah. Some wrapped cards. All right, let's crack this open and see what's in here. These are really pretty 3D models printed on the back of these cards. We will definitely be posting pictures of these on the screen and on Instagram. Those look amazing. Are those minis in this game? Because I don't know how they would fit the theme, but that looks awesome. What is this? What am I looking at? What's on the other side of these guys? It's colored versions of that. Some amazing artwork in this. See if there's different types of cards here. Just separate them. Cause, uh, nope, these are all the same. Oh, they're playing cards. They're beautifully illustrated playing cards. Yeah, all the pictures of the amazing artwork. That's a terrifying wolf dog s thing. All right. Neat. So, if those are playing cards, what are these? I think they're just the art from the cards. Okay, cool. We'll give you a few samples of those. Neat. You know, of all the board games I have in this house, I do not have a basic set of playing cards. So, now I can play Euchre. It's, uh, anything else? The cats? Okay, well, there was no cats in that box. That made me a little sad. So I think they're I think they are coming in wave two. Well, let's get this out this beauty out of here. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to I don't know how to I don't know how to get in there, it's tight. I have to stand up for this. Hold on. I got small hands, but they're pudgy. I could just flip it upside down, but I don't want to. I feel like this is a challenge. I can do this. Ah, it. Let's move that. Ah. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, Awaken Realms. Those guys know how to put together a Kickstarter project. I mean, what was it, like over 30,000 backers on, on Nemesis? And, and then they're... Their ability to write a story, amazing. Art, top notch. They're great with theme. Okay. Here we have a lot of dark artwork here. It's all very pretty. Oh, man. You know, I say. For a lot of the Kickstarters, we got a lot of things we unbox that I'm always super excited to play them, man. There's so many I have that I've unboxed that we have not played. I really don't want to wait for this one. I'm almost tempted to take the rest of the week off work and just play me some Nemesis. 
Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I gotta get myself psyched. Let's go. Oh, it's a tight one. Julie, a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh the deep boxes always have the best stuff. Let's put you over here. Okay. Don't want to read the rules? Watch the video. I like that. Okay. Let's. I will watch the video and I will read the rules. That's that's how I roll. Uh, I usually read the rules, watch the video, read the rules. I like to make sure I get things right, and then I spend the rest of the time on Board Game Geek, asking questions. Okay. Well, there's a lot to this. That's a big manual. It's a big one. How many pages are in this thing? 28 pages. There is quite a bit of info here. Now, I heard this game was a little, um... Uh, what's the word? Fiddly. And, uh, but, same people who said it was fiddly also said it was worth the fiddle. Alright, Additional, I don't know, what do we got here? Additional rooms. Special rooms. Some, maybe some rules that didn't make it in the original print. Let's see what we got here. Okay, more punch outs. Now I believe this is what the base is made out of. Storage, monitoring room, a whole bunch of rooms you would find on a ship. And on the back, there's just numbers. So I'm assuming these are placed randomly. And the numbers on them, I'm assuming also have some, some reason for them being there. Intruder board. I guess those are. Are we the intruders or are they the intruders? I don't know whose ship we're on. Okay, we got the captain, we got the mechanic, we got some separate player board. Ah, some separate player boards here. Huh, character board, neat. So let's pop right out. Okay, so we got more player boards. We got a scientist, a pilot. So you can see both ways. Well, oh, scientist in a wheelchair. And we got the scout. She's drinking. And we got the soldier. Oh, the nest. All kinds of these creepy little areas. A lot of punch boards. A lot of punch boards. Accidentally punching things out. Just want to lose that. Ooh, what is this? this? Looks like a bit of a puzzle. Box stand. I see something. Hold on, hold on. Take cool pictures of your game box. Hold on. We got a bit of a typo here, Awakened Realms. Take cool pictures of your game box. I'm assuming that was supposed to be game box. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe game box is something in the box. We'll see. But, oh look, there's the cat again. The first player token is a cat. I don't know what's with the cats, but I like it. Okay, this is pretty thick. And it folds in. Give me a second to figure this out. Maybe? There's a picture of it here, but I think I'm missing something. Ta da! So just show up your box. I don't know why, but I'll use it. The game board. There we go. Here we go. This is going to be a big one. If this doesn't fit on camera, we'll piece together some sort of photo. I think I'm going to have to get rid of my little my cool display box. Hold on. All right. 
All right, now let's check this thing out. This board looks large. It's big. It's big. This is a big board. I don't know if you can see this all on camera. I'll try my best. Maybe you can see that. Okay, this is a large board. Is it double sided? It is. This is double sided. Okay. I wonder which side is scarier. That's your double sided board. Double sided giant board, and that's heavy. So we'll put that over there. And then, now we're getting to the cool stuff. Alright. Cooler stuff. This is etching on there, embossing it on there. Ooh, it's got one of these things. It's those, um, whatchamacallit, those like decoders? I had them as a kid. I'm assuming this decodes something. Hold on. Insert communication card in here. So something slides in there. In here. A little tight little gap there. Something slides in there and then it decodes a message. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, so we won't try any of those, but maybe we'll try them. Now, we get these things. What are they? And by the way, this is really, this is thick. That right, little slot, slot is tight. What do we got here? Hey, okay, some, these look like, I don't know what these look like. Kind of like a micro chip communication system of some sort. Put those there for now. And then what else we got here? We got orange bits to go with the yellow bits. Oh, these look like they represent fire. I know you can start fires, at least from what I've heard. So, they're cool. They're see-through. Yeah, so it's like a clear plastic fiery icon thing. Those look really nice. These are nice pieces. They're plastic and they feel really nice. So. Crystals. Actually, I had crystals just like this when I used to play magic. Just like this. I bought them at the uh, local... Well, these are lighter, though. I bought them at the local flower nursery. I used to put them in the bottom of your pots. A little fancy. But these are plastic, so they're very, fairly light. But they're clear. Look like little gears of some sort. And there's a gap, so I don't know what they uh, link, link into. We got a bunch of those. Put over there. Just going through all the little baggies. Right here we have just some standees. So there's got to be some cardboard standees in there somewhere. Or for cards. I don't know. Here we got, I love little cubes, little colorful cubes. You've, you've seen things like this before. So, yeah, nice clear plastic red cubes. Those over there. And then we got our miniature markers and they're rubber, so they're flexible. I have one other game that has rubber ones. I find most games that I've played have plastic ones. I think Rising Sun has plastic ones. Like hard, rigid ones. And then, a bag that says Nemesis. It's empty. Okay, and before we get to the miniatures, let's check out this dice. If my hands look really dry in the video, I've been doing a lot of drywalling and working in a, in a studio. <laughs> um, all right, so we got some dice. So we got uh, pointy dice and your basic square dice. Is that ten sided? Yeah. Ten sided die and your basic six sided die. Let's uh, let's try them out.
They work. I don't know what they mean, but they work. And we're out to the minis now. Well, first, actually, what are these? Ah, these, I bet you, for your player boards? Hold on. So if I was the scout, this sitting here? Maybe not. Or maybe, it's tight fit. Could be. fits in there nicely it's like tight so I don't know if they do fit, fit in there or something else is supposed to go in there but until then I'll just take those out so you got a bunch of those and five of those and they're all numbered I'm guessing five player game stay on the box I don't currently see it in front of me let's look at some minis These guys are creepy. It's like a little nest horde of baby xenomorph like things. A bunch of those. Creepy. Let's see what else we got. These look great. The detail on these are amazing. I think these guys actually look scarier than alien xenomorphs. They've got sharper looking tails. It's almost like they got weapons attached to their tails. I'm gonna put that back there for now. Brittany's gonna have fun taking pictures of these. And then we got this guy. It looks like he's missing the lower half of his body and he's dragging his dragging himself to you with his little claw hands. We got two of those, three of those. Oh, we got our characters. I don't know who they are. And, yeah, definitely pictures. We got uh, this uh, some guy here. A lot of little, the detail on these are crazy. You can see a little backpack, all the little knobs and stuff on his backpack. Oh, this was the scientist, the guy on the wheelchair. We've all got little backpacks. Got a little keyboard. If I painted miniatures, these guys would be really neat to paint. Oh. Yes. I believe I got one of the melted ones. This character, <laughs> I've heard, I've read posts where people were getting some of their miniatures and they were melted. I believe this is one of the melted ones. I'm pretty sure Wicked Realms will replace those if you got the same problem. But it was specifically this character. Yeah, you can see his details a little funky. So yeah, he's a little not as sharp as he's not as sharp as everybody else. So just let awake let Wicked Realms know and Citizen Ewan. And we got her. She's got uh, stuff on her back. Little grenades. They did a lot of uh, a lot of effort to model those butt cheeks. She's been working out. And then you this guy. His finger looks like this. I'm think I'm not sure if he's supposed to be pointing or he's dropped his gun. All right, let's see what's in the next tray. Is the box this deep? You gotta have at least two trays. If you thought this layer was cool. Look at this. Look at those guys. Holy crap. Oh. Get out Set them free. Oh, snap! Look at that! Look how- that's terrifying! I'm getting chills! It's like some- uh, the mother alien and she's like tearing this- It's like a 
the containment unit or a hatch and she's tearing it back and letting all the little Z crazy xenomorph babies like just pour through and that looks terrifying. She's got one in her hand. I don't know if he's misbehaving or he needs some extra help, but or maybe that's her favorite. I don't know. But she's cool. Sorry. She's really cool looking. Well, like that. That's amazing. Holy crap. We need some good pictures of this one. And these guys, there's two of these guys. Look at that. These guys are large. Hold on, let's get some scale here. Where, where are the humans are gonna be dealing with this? Look at this! Look at that! This guy's screwed! How do you fight this? How? What, shoot it in the shins? I don't think... I don't think it's gonna go well for the humans. There's two of those guys in there. Let's the other guy there, and then there's this guy. He's cool looking too. He looks deadly. Put him back in there. Yeah, this guy. Or she, maybe. Looks more like built more like a she. Really nice detail on all on these models. And then this one looks similar, but not. see, I believe these little bits of structure are used to prop up these characters, because I'm guessing during early tests, these guys were tipping over, and that's why she's got her hands on this little metal thing, bending it over, and he's got his knee on that thing. Actually, that might be a she too. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm not an alien matchmaker. Alright, let's get you back in the box. And now... It's got, you know, usually I do the, the coolest parts last, but I got too excited to do it when I saw them. But now let's see what kind of cards we got here. Alright. Oh, it says on the bottom of the insert, it says, Empty space for sleeved cards. Well, isn't that considerate? I just a lot of cards to buy sleeves for here. Alright, so we got bandages, alcohol looks like supplies, discard a slime maker or dress one serious wound so it looks like these cards give you options we'll post some of these pictures up i'm not going to go through every one of them but give you an idea see if there's anything super cool that stands out here Molotov cocktail classic oh what are these I'm gonna break the rules. I'm gonna paste, place these where it says it's for sleeved cards. I don't care. I'm putting them in there anyways. I'm breaking all the rules. Alright, I don't know what these are. Except for planets. Earth, Mars, Venus, and deep space. Let's see what's in here. Vulnerability to fire. Are these weaknesses? Any engine. Any energy weapon attack that deals at least one injury deals one additional injury. Hmm. Intruder weakness. There are weaknesses. Neat. No weaknesses in the back? No, that's a log key. Intercom. There seems to be a lot to Nemesis. This must be all the, the fiddliness I heard about. I'm so excited. Is so bad. Alright, so some cards that we've already seen. Alright, cool. Those guys back in here. Okay. Intruder attack. Okay. Intruder attacks with that size. It reminds me of. Uh, Legend, alien, legendary encounters, or legendary alien encounters, or I can't remember which one it's name, but you know, the Marvel Legendary game that is themed around the actual aliens IP. They have an intruder deck. So I'm guessing this is bad stuff they do to you. Put a malfunction marker in each room with an adult breeder or queen. I'm guessing that big one's the queen. Okay, so all kinds of nasty things. 
in this deck. Arm. So, oh, body parts. I'm guessing we're taking damage to certain body parts. The character has only one hand slot for heavy items slash objects. If they have two heavy items, they must instantly drop one. That's neat. You get leg injuries, arm injuries, body. Cool. Bleeding. It's like different status effects for your characters. And different nasty things that these aliens do. Okay. Cool. That picture kind of reminds me of the, uh, the episode Fluke from X-Files with the giant human-sized fluke worm. Oh yeah, it was creepy too. I wouldn't want to fight him in space either. What else we got here? I'm almost done. Just two more packs of carrots. Greener pastures. What are these? Obje oh, they're objectives. Oh yeah, I've heard about these. The objective cards, you get two options to choose from. Player one's character cannot survive, or your character is the only survivor. Wow, let's hope if I get that, Britney's player one. <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of different ones there. Artwork's the same one. What are these? These guys are, oh, those are they're also objectives. Solo and co-op objectives. And this is... Intruder player action. Right. Move direction. Okay, I don't know what these, what any of these instructions mean. Maybe for solo play, maybe? Your player one, your player two. Ah, I see. Oh, there's a little player phase, little. Nice. Little system cards. Oh, they say pass on the back, so I'm guessing when you pass, you just turn the card upside down. Oh, you can. This is how you can choose characters randomly, I'm guessing, is just shuffle all the characters up and hand them out. That's a nice little touch. And. Don't know what these are, brother. Just like. Concept art? That's really neat. Cool. Okay, now this is the action deck. Okay. Yeah, they're all, looks like it's gonna be action deck all the way through. So what kind of actions do we have here? Reduce item counter by one. Draw two item cards of the same color as the room you are in. Pick one and discard the other. Oh, these cards are specific to characters. Let's see, captain cards, your mechanic cards, pilot. Uh -huh. So I guess everybody has different abilities. Even cooler. It really helps with the uh, replay value. Yeah, there's a lot of cards. I'm not gonna go through each one of them. Just kind of giving you a little sneaky peek. Okay, looks like all these look the same, so there won't be any spoilers. I think this is what we were waiting for. This goes in there. Let's see. No, it goes in this way. Ready? Hope the camera can see this. Get the dust off there. Ooh. Got a code on it. it. Means nothing to me, but you can't see it when it's like that. You can see it when it's like that. You can't see it? No, you can't. Can't? Okay. That's gonna be fun. No, oh, there's a bunch of those. Okay. There's a bunch of those mystery cards. This is gonna be so cool. So cool. What was in here? That's a big hole. Oh, was it her? She was there. She was in there. I don't remember what was in there. Doesn't matter. 
I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, because these guys look super awesome. I am way hyped to play this game. Cannot wait. I'll tell you all about it when it happens. Ah. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, um... I'm, I'm also I'm all flustered. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I've, I've how many videos have we have we done, Brit? Like fifty something videos, and I can't remember how to sign off. I'm just so excited about playing with these these. Look at this. Just look how cool it is. Anyways, okay. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe here. But if you want to see more right now, click here. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.